So Alexander Yusek officially basically ruins us ever uh, being able to see Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury uh, because that fight's not going to happen now. There's no way Tyson Fury is going to fight AJ now that he lost. And now he's going to have another fight with uh, AJ because there's a rematch clause. Sorry for my voice and my runny nose because I'm sick, but I wanted to talk about this fight because Alexander Yusek just became the unified heavyweight champion of the world by defeating Anthony Joshua. Um, this fight had a lot of ups and downs, you know, for both of these guys. You know, the first four rounds, I thought it was an easy night's work for Alexander Yusek. He was just moving so well, and he was b bouncing in and out and just absolutely uh, tearing Anthony Joshua up when it comes to just his skill set. You know, he was just going in and out, in and out, and just absolutely almost embarrassing him, you know, and then he got tired, you know, and when he got tired, he started being a lot more stationary, and that's when AJ started having his, like, good rounds, I thought AJ was doing kind of good, um, and in the second half, he kind of, like, started stepping his game up again, uh, Alexander Yusek, and he ended up winning this fight, um, a lot of people uh, coming up to this fight felt that Alexander Yusek was too small, too small to beat someone like Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua is a natural heavyweight and he and Alexander Yusek is obviously a small cruiserweight. But this just goes to show you that talent just you, you know you size is not everything in, in boxing. Size is not everything. Talent uh ring IQ is everything in boxing. So even though Anthony Joshua was the bigger guy, he wasn't he didn't have the ring IQ of Alexander Yusek. He did not have his smartness, his ring savviness, right? And uh, you could you saw it in the fight, especially when Alexander was fresh. When Alexander was fresh, he was just embarrassing Joshua at points. Um, so this is officially Joshua's second loss in his career, um, and I'm not surprised. You know, I, you know, some people might be shocked that Alexander Yusek won. Alexander Yusek is a undisputed uh, former cruiserweight champion, and he's a former gold medalist. So this is a guy who's never lost. He, he was also unbeaten, and he still is, right? This is a guy who's, who's, who's never lost in his life. He doesn't know what it is to, to lose. So he's used to winning, and he fought like he was used to winning against Joshua tonight, right? He did not fight like he was a challenger. He fought like he was a champion. He fought like he was defending his belts, and it showed, right? Because he's not used to losing, right? And he fought like a guy who was... Like I said, a champion, not a challenger. And now he's going to fight Joshua again because there's a rematch clause. Um, of course, Joshua is disappointed. Um, but this is why it's crazy because leading up to this fight, <laughs> they were interviewing everybody, asking them who do you think is going to win. And everyone just kept saying that Joshua was too big. 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 And Yusek is, is, he just has speed and he's a boxer. But no. What you said proved here tonight is that he has a really good chin because he was able to take some punches from Joshua straight to the face. Both of these guys were cut up. But guess what? He also has power, you said, because he was able to hurt Joshua. There was a, a few times where he landed on Joshua and had Joshua backpedaling early on in the fight. And obviously in the end of the fight where he was, it almost looked like if there was one more round left, he, he could have, I think if there was one more round left, he probably could have stopped AJ because he was out on his feet, AJ, in the last round. Um, AJ, you know, typically when AJ gets hurt, he's all over the place. So congrats to Yusek, but this basically just ruined Yusek versus, I mean, Anthony Joshua versus uh, Tyson Fury. It seems like these guys end up AJ always ends up losing right before he's about to fight someone that everyone wants to see him fight and it's because these fights never happen he was supposed to fight Deontay Wilder it never happened and, and instead he fights Andy Ruiz and Andy Ruiz ruins it for him and knocks him out and then he, he fought him and now he was supposed to fight Tyson Fury and Yusek ruined it for him and now he's gonna he's stuck to, with fighting Yusek again and Yusek's probably going to beat him again. So this is officially the second time that Alexander Yusek, I mean, that Anthony Joshua has lost. But again, nothing to be ashamed of. Alexander Yusek is a gold medalist and he's a uh, undisputed. And now he's uh, crazy. Now he's 
a undisputed cruiserweight and an undisputed heavyweight. You know, and this is great for him. I believe Alexander Usyk will go down in history as one of the goats because that's this is how you become one of the goats is by getting victories like this. You know, Alexander Usyk has fought everyone. You know, when he was at cruiserweight, he fought everyone. And he fought them in their backyards, and now he's he fought AJ in, in his backyard and beat him in front of what sixty thousand people or even more than that, and so that's what greatness does. That's what people do when they try to be great. So that's awesome, you know. And so even though it sucks that AJ will never be fighting Tyson Fury now for sure, um, and we're never going to see that big fight. At least this is good because, in a sense, because you know it's like. A new face in the heavyweight division, right? Now there's a new champion. Now it's the Alexander Usyk era. Um, now he might lose in the rematch, but you know, I I I I don't think he will. I think he'll he'll win unless AJ goes for the KO. Uh, but in this fight, Alexander Usyk proved that skills pay the bills, and he was able to outskill AJ. And he also proved that he got a chin, because a lot of people thought he was not going to be able to take AJ's power, but he did. And that's a lot to say, guys. I'm out.